All right, five, five, renaming, mixed number sums, page 172, 173. We'll start with some of this stuff on 172. Uh, real briefly for the camera, this is our last adding lesson of chapter five. Tomorrow we start going through subtraction. So, um, and we also talked about some of these skills that we're gonna learn today. We had to learn yesterday to get through some of the homework problems. So, but today we'll get the full the full thing. So, starting with the first part here, let's just look. Well, that is very fuzzy, isn't it? Refocus. There we go. Now I can see. So, looking at the first part here, this 1 through 18 stuff, it says rename each of these mixed numbers in simplest form. If we look at all of them here, obviously there's nothing wrong with the whole number part, but notice how every single fraction is either a whole fraction or an improper fraction. And this would be not acceptable form for an answer in math. You have to simplify that further. You guys know that. So all that they're really trying to do is just, I'm just going to create a problem here. Uh, three and five nines plus three and I'm just going to call it six nines for our purposes. So if I add that up, I get six and eleven ninths, such as what I have for number one here. Right? Cool. So, in theory, what they're trying to say is, and this is indeed what's going to happen, is we're going to get a lot of answers where, and again, we looked at this yesterday, the, the fraction part's going to need to be simplified. And how would we simplify 11 ninths? All right. We added it fine. I agree with it. 5 ninths and 6 ninths is 11 ninths. 3 and 3 is 6. Everything's good. But what would we want to do? Well, this is just basically 6 plus... 11 ninths. Any mixed number is just a representation of an addition problem, the whole number plus the fractional component. So instead of writing it this way, if I wrote this as a mixed number, what would it be? Yeah. Seven the 11 ninths. Oh. What would that be as a mixed number? One and two ninths. Right, one and two ninths. If I didn't know, I can always set up a division bar. And I subtract, I get 1 with a remainder of 2. Your quotient, that's your big number. Your remainder, there's your numerator. Your denominator never changes at any point. So instead of 6 plus 11 ninths, I could say 6 plus 1 and 2 ninths. Agreed? I haven't changed anything. But then when I add it here, again, it's kind of like I already added this, and now I'm kind of adding again here. But the two ninth part, if I just write it out, the six, I don't need the plus sign here, right? See what I did here? This is still 11 ninths, right? Right? Yeah. Right? Right. So I'm at basically writing in this form, two ninths and then six plus one. So six and 11 ninths, these are indeed, they are very much equal to each other. They are, they're both the same value. The only problem is one of them is not mathematically correct for how you would represent the number. One of them is. So if you're able to execute this step, then you got everything you need to do to do this lesson. I don't think the adding part's going to be a challenge for you. It hasn't been at any point. So I'll give you a few of these. Um, just convert them like we did. Convert them, clean them up, simplify it. Cool. Uh, number five, do eight and six fourths. Mm, number seven, three and 20 over 15 and 13. 36 and eight over eight. So we'll clean all those up and make them better proper mixed numbers. Simplify the fraction if you have to. All the things you need to do.
perfect paper placement. Okay. Uh, let's see. Number five will be for Lauren. Seven will be for Ella. Thirteen will be for Roland. Roland, you ready? Yeah. All right. What do you see? What do you got? Yep. Yep. Eight eighths is the same as one. Final answer: thirty-seven. You don't need a fraction at there at all, right? Lauren. Eight. Uh. So the six fourths comes to eight fourths. Yeah. Eight fourths. Eight fourths. Nine. There we go. Right. So nine and two fours, and then she Three just, six. and that's fine. You know, you probably saw the two fours. Just got right there. But yep, nine and one half is where we want to be. Good. Ella? Not yet. Not yet? Okay. I'll check with Ella in a minute here. We'll come back to you. So, all right. I'll do maybe one ad and... Um, just for our purposes here, here's some adding where the denominators are the same for all of them, but we're just going to move right to the next page because you guys can handle it. So 25, again, I won't do many, maybe just this one. I think it's all I need to do. But feel free to try it on your own. I'll walk through it. Four and three fourths plus two and seven twentieths. what you learned with yesterday's lesson with what we just practiced right now so bring it all home So first thing we should be looking at is realizing we're going to need a common denominator to add these two fractions together. 20 is a good number. 4 times 5 is 20. 3 times 5 gives me a 15 up here. Times 1, 7 over 20. Add up my fractions. 15 plus 7 gives me 22 over 20. 4 plus 2 is 6. Of course, the 22 20 is should be cleaned up to 1 and 2 20 is. Add it up, 7 and 2 20 is. Simplify it, divide both of those by 2. 7 and 1 tenth. Okay. All right, Ella, you got yours? Uh, I think I got it right. All right. Let me go. What do I do here? So five two one two those. Well before that if I write it as a mixed number. Oh, it would be um, one and five fifteenths. Right, one and five fifteenths, and then I'm adding that to the three I already had. So I add that up and I get Oh I forgot to add up. <laughs> Four and five fifteenths. Four and five fifteenths, and now go ahead, you were saying it, divide both of these by five. There it is, right there. I forgot right. to add it. <laughs> That's, okay. That's the only thing I forgot. That's right. You got it. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Um, you guys ready? How, what do I got? Four more sticks. Four problems, four sticks. Yes? Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Give you number 27. 7 and 5 ninths plus 4 and 8 eighteenths. Number 29, 6 and 2 fifths plus 2 thirds. Number 30. 
of operation. Done. Three to go. One down, three to go. So somewhere in there it'll be Noah, Stella, Uriah, and George on tap here. Sometimes the sticks give you what you want, and sometimes they really don't. Hey, I can put any single one of them. They did it for me. So they give you. They gave me literally like 37 and 8 oh eighths. These are good. If you can do these four, I mean, you're, you're in a rock salad spot here. With, and you'll be... Told you at the beginning, this chapter gets a little redundant at times because we're going to just do everything we've done for the net another five, six lessons with subtracting. So it gets a little. Okay. Most of us seem to wrap it in, so let's see who gets what. 27 will be for Noah. 29 will be for George. 34, Stella. 35, Uriah. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Here we all are. All right, uh, Noah, you ready? Okay. Yep. And then the 7 plus 4 is 11. And then 8 plus 10 is 18, so 12. And simplify it. This is just as 1. 11 plus 1, final answer is indeed 12. Good work, Noah. All right, George, you ready? Okay. Yep. Yep. Then the top two numerators are six and ten. Six and ten, I agree. That would equal six, that would equal six, sixteen, fifteen. Yep. So that would equal seven, one, fifteen. Right. Take out one, fifteen, fifteen. Take out one. What's left? Just one. And that is where we come up with for our final answer. Seven and one, fifteen. Good. Basically, we just subtracted one hole here. And then we put it back in right there. Well done, George. Good work. Stella, you ready? Yeah. Okay. So the common denominator is 8. Yep. Yeah. And then, so 5, so that is a 1. And then, that would be a 6. Yep. And a 4. Good. And then add that, that's 11, 8. Yep. Yep. And that equals 12 and 3 eighths. Right. Again, this turns into 1 and 3 eighths. Add it up. Final answer, 12 and 3 eighths. Just like that. Boom. All right, Uriah. Ready to bring it home? Yep. Okay. So, so the, um, the denominator is 8 and the 
denominator, all of them have to change to 12. Very so good. Yes. 3 times 4, 4 times 3, and 6 times 2. Okay. 6 times 2, 6 times 2 and a half is, is 6, is 6 twelfths. Yep. 3 times 1 fourth is 3 twelfths. Yep. And in 4 times 3 twos. Yep. Is is eight. Good. Is Perfect. eight twelfths. Perfect. Um. When so. And six plus three is nine, and then. Yes. Perfect. And that one was again good. That none of these were the denominator. You had to make all equivalent fractions. No times one. So that was that was really good. I mean that was really good. All you guys all did really good. All seven of you. Um, any questions? Rock on.